by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. God bless the chest. I can't believe what I'm saying. I can't believe what I'm saying. I Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, wanted to get into today's show. Uh, Amir Khan is back in the news, but before we get to that, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Also, we have a brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, completely t- dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, please like and subscribe to that channel. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, near and dear to our heart, so please like, uh, please subscribe to that channel. Help us get help us get monetized and up and running as quickly as possible. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Somehow, Amir Khan always finds himself in the news. Uh, he always finds himself on the verge of a fight. Um, he hasn't had a big win. In years, I, I mean, you, you, you go back. He beat Billy Dip. That doesn't count. He lost to Crawford. He beat Samuel Vargas and Greco. He lost to Canelo. He beat Algieri. That Algieri fight was in 2015. His last win of note was 2015. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Uh, and then he'd be Alexander and Colazzo. but so he hasn't had a good win in six years. He hasn't. Had, he got knocked out against Vargas and, and, and beat Lagreco, right? But in reality, he hasn't had a good win in six years. Is anyone gonna say? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is this guy still relevant? And now, like. Look, Connor Ben should obviously beat him, right? Uh, Connor Ben already has one double Vargas and Famella, Sebastian Famella. Um, you know he's a 24 year old prospect. He's an upstart, son of a you know of a former champion. Um, he's got a big name. He's fighting Adrian Granados. So if he beats Granados, that's a better win than anyone Khan's got. I mean, I, Granados is on the same level as Algeri and, and Devin Alexander, I, I would think. So if this is a fight he wins, which he should, I mean, does Granados beat Khan? I mean, maybe. I, I don't know how Khan keeps getting these fights, but there's a chance that this fight gets made because it, it it's a name. It's a safe fight for Conor Ben. Let's be real. Uh, Conor Ben's a stud. He's 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 offensively really good. Um, he he's got decent pop. He fights really well uh, from from the range. He puts pressure on. He does a lot of things really well. Uh, Connor Ben is going to be in that group of up and coming welterweights uh, with, with, with uh, Virgil Ortiz and Boots and, and, and Ramos, and he's in that group. Um, I, I, I've said this many times: the future of the welterweight division is in really good shape, um, and there's going to be a new era of champions that run that division after you know. Crawford is gone, and Spence is retired, and Pacquiao is gone, and Thurman and Porter, and Gar- Garcia is already out. You know, those guys are, are, are on their way out of that division and, and aging out. Uh, but there is another era of fighters that's coming up to replace them. A- and Conor Ben is part of that group. Conor Ben is sensational. Uh, Conor Ben beat Familia as, just as well as Sean Porter did. Oh. I'm not saying Conor Ben beat Sean Porter today. But he will beat him in short order. Like, um, you know, Porter's getting older and, and Connor Ben's getting better. You know, in three years from now, um, Connor Ben will be able to beat Sean Porter, be able to beat Ugas. He's that good. Um, that's why this Khan fight, as funny as it sounds, it's like I said, it's been six years since Khan has gotten a win of note. Six years. Um, but somehow he's still relevant because he beat Phil Greco and Samuel Vargas. 
It's been six years, guys. Six years since he's got a, a, a high quality win. Make what you want. Make up. Make, make make of it as you wish. But I mean, six years. <laughs> Uh, but somehow Khan keeps getting himself in the news. I, I kind of think this fight's going to happen. I, I really kind of sort of do. Like, um, if and when, because Ben will beat Granados. You know, I know you don't look past any opponent, but he, he'll beat Granados. When he does, what's next? You know what I'm saying? You know, I, this Khan thing could happen. It'd be a main event. Both guys would get a nice paycheck, then get a big win, an, an easy win. You know, beating Khan is like beating Broner at this point. Yeah, you're going to beat him. You know, they should do that. Khan should fight Broner. Um, I'm serious. Khan should fight Broner. Be a fun fight. Be an interesting fight. Um, it's just, it, it, you know, and, and, and look, Khan was called out by Ben. You know, Ben wants an easy fight. It's, it's like fighting Broner. It's easy work and a nice payday. It's, it's good work if you can get it. Um, but I'm excited to see what what, what, what Ben does with Granados because Granados is a game opponent, right? He's a good fighter. Um, it should be a good test. You know, he should make him work, but kind of Ben should obviously win that fight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. We'll just come at you today. Um, and big up Connor Ben. And uh, ask you guys how – do you have any idea how Amir Khan still relevant? I mean, forget a win of no. He hasn't won a fight, period. I don't, oh, he beat Billy Dib. All right, so he beat Dib two years ago. Then he lost to Crawford, and before that he beat Vargas. All right, I keep forgetting that Billy Dib fight that he won two years ago. He really did. Um, I, I I don't know. <laughs> Billy Dib. I, I don't know, man. Maybe he can fight Kyle Brook again. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. How does Khan stay relevant? Um, is that something you want to see? Do you want to see Khan or Ben destroy Amir Khan? Or do you want to see him fight somebody good? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news. Um, remember to subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. And of course, that channel is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, it is July 20th. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks, who just won the NBA championship. Um, Ivan Calderon is still somehow not in the Boxing Hall of Fame, and that needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.